In the previous video, I described to you how lean led to agile. And with agile, developers and QA came together into one engineering team and now they could build products faster. However, agile did not incorporate what comes next, that is the operations team, how the product actually gets delivered. And by late, let's say late 90s and uh, 2000, uh, we had web infrastructure, a lot of you know applications were moving to the web and the cloud and the releasing the product not only in, in involved uh, sending it out or shipping it out to the customers, it also involved how do you deploy it in a production infrastructure that your servers on the cloud or in your data centers. And that's where operations teams came in. Now, operations team, since they were not part of these agile methodologies, they were not part of the scrum, etc., uh, they were still following the older methods to deploy the products, mainly the scripting or doing things manually, which is not very reliable, right? Now, operations teams typically care about the reliability and the stability of your infrastructure more than the speed at which it is delivered. They want to make sure it is stable. Whereas, Developers with the agile methodologies now wanted to build and ship the products faster to respond to the change, to respond to the customer demands, to add new features, sometimes to just fix things there. And that led to this famous frictional wall between dev and operations. So if you have heard of DevOps or read about DevOps, you must uh, must be aware of this wall, right? And this wall was mainly because developers being more agile versus operations team still uh, not adopting some of the new practices. And there was a friction because, you know, the goals were different. One team wanted to release faster versus the other team cared about the stability and the reliability. Now, was there no way to achieve both at the same time? That's where some people started thinking about the solutions and this guy's contribution is important here uh, his name is patrick de and he presented a paper by name agile infrastructure and operations how infra agile are you he was talking about how do you bring agility into the infrastructural or the operations world and that was in 2008 at agile conference toronto canada now since this was attended most of by mostly the developers um, nobody really paid a lot of attention to it. However, there was another event by Andrew Clay Schaeffer in that, um, in the same, um, you know, in the same conference, again, that didn't have any response. So basically, Andrew had uh, uh, announced an informal session, birds of feather session related to uh, infrastructure agility, uh, but nobody attended it. And since no, he didn't receive any response, even Andrew didn't go for that event, but Patrick did. And he actually, you know, na he found Andrew, he spoke with them, so spoke with him, and what came out of their discussion was Agile Systems Administrator Group. Now, what happened in 2009, Velocity Conference also has a significance on the way DevOps evolved. At this event, John Alspo and Paul Hammett from Flickr talked about how they could achieve 10 plus deploys a day at Flickr with Dev and Ops cooperation. And what they talked about was were a couple of things. One is one was uh, related to tools. Second was related to the culture. And when it comes to the tools, they talked about a lot of automation. They built automation into infrastructure world, um, started using revision control in the world of infrastructure, which was not done earlier. Um, you know, automating build and deployment steps, adding metrics, visualization, and achieving collaboration through that as well. The second part of that was about culture. Culture of mutual respect, trust, healthy attitude about failures, you know, uh, blameless postmortems, avoiding the blames, etc., etc. Et right? There are two parts there: tools and culture. And with these, they could achieve 10 plus deploys a day, and that was a big thing at that point of time in 2009. It grabbed attention of Patrick Deboy, who organized an event by name DevOps Days. That's where the conversation started on how do we achieve dev and operations collaboration and build more efficient organization. Now, DevOps days was organized for probably a couple of days, but the conversation stayed on Twitter and social media. And since Twitter doesn't support a lot of real estate, DevOps days was hashtag to DevOps. And that's the origin of the word DevOps. 
So in this video, we talked about how the friction created by agile methodologies between developers and operations led to the conversation that is DevOps. Mm -hmm.